Hi, pros. It's Patrick the Pro, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk About That. Today, we are going to be talking about Techland games you have never heard of. Hope you'll enjoy. It's been a long time since I've made one of these videos, huh? Not that I think about it, I say that a lot. <laughs> okay, um, so, uh, this video should be rather short because there's not that mu there's not that many games that people don't know about, but there are still some games that people don't know about. Well, we're talking about Techland, of course, as I've said earlier. And uh, this time I came prepared. Um, yeah, yeah, I came prepared. <laughs> that, that that's all I came saying. I ac I actually have a small list of games. Jesus, did you have to go off right now, mate? Um. Um. Yeah, I have a small list of games, of Techland games that people have never heard of so you know what because this uh, I've been making this intro for like one and a one minute and 37 seconds right now so let's just get into it also this video might take me a bit longer to edit because I want to also show the examples mm, so yeah this will be this video will this episode of let's talk about that will look a little bit different than other ones all right anyways hope you enjoy okay so the first uh, techland game i want to talk about is actually their very first game ever uh, which surprises me that what's surprising about this is that people just don't know about it like at all like that's that's uh, this surprises me but then again it doesn't really surprise me because this their first game was released only in their home country so that's why no one really knows about it okay so um what uh, uh, let me make this quick introduction um, this, uh, if you follow history of Techland, you know that they've started out their whole game developing adventure in 1991. That's a long time ago. And everybody believes that, um, back in the 90, back in the 90s, uh, uh, Techland basically did nothing except uh, publishing uh, games from other countries to their home country. Um, while while it is true that they have been doing that, well, there are also some things wrong about it. You see, people believe that the first game Techland has ever made was Crime Cities. A game released in the year 2000. 21 years ago. Man, that's a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, people always believe that, but that's actually not their first game. Yes, you've heard it. Crime Cities is not Techland's first game. As a matter of fact, Techland's first game is well also I should mention that this game has no translation uh, because you know it was only released in their home country so for the purpose of this video I am going to uh, say the um, <coughs> say the real name of the game you know the you know the one that they uh, they I can't speak, oh my god. And I said I came prepared, huh? 
Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna say the name that you know, Dave. How Dave named the game in their home country. So, because uh, I'm terrible at, at explaining this, apparently. Um, their first, well, there, yes. Techland's first game is Bravo Krvi. Yes, I know I can easily translate the title of this game, but I'm not going to. Because this game was released only in their home country, as I mentioned, as I've said, er like I've said er earlier. As you can see, all you need to know is here. Yes, I'm using a a different website for this, but I can quickly translate this for you. I shouldn't, but I will. Uh, I'm not gonna um, uh, translate all of this because there's no point. Uh, I will only translate the most important thing. So, remember when I've said that, um, you know, uh, people believe that Crime Series is their first uh, game? Well, as you can see, now I've proved you wrong. Uh, because this game came out um, November 11th, n 1995. Yes, 1995. Five years before Crime Cities. And also nine years before my favorite game from them, their best game, in my opinion, Expand Rayleigh, and also 11, ga 11 years uh, before their first major hit back then, Call of Juarez. Such a long way to go, to be honest. Alright, so what is this game about? Ladies and gentlemen, well, actually, pros, it's a fighting game. Yes, your this is your early Mortal Kombat uh, type game. You basically, uh, I can quickly describe you this um, just by looking at those screenshots over there. Um, so, uh, in this in this game, you play as. Uh, a member of some organization that I don't remember um, and you have to stop uh, the bad people you know because I don't think YouTube likes that word the word I was going to use um, so um, as you can see by the screenshots um, you just go uh, fl from left to right and you just, you know, game ending everyone on your way. Just like, uh, and it's in a similar vein to Mortal Kombat. As you can see, it even says game similar to Pravo Krvi, Mortal Kombat 3. So, yeah. Um, what else can I say about this game? Um, back then, the animations for those uh, for the characters were actually really impressive nowadays though this game just looks laughable I would bring up a gameplay footage here but I don't have any gameplay footage because well I don't own the game I don't own a copy so even if I wanted to record my own gameplay footage for this, I just can't. So that's fantastic. Um, um, so you know what? Let's uh, because I want to talk about other games uh, games as well. Let's talk. Uh, let's put it short. Let's make a quick conclusion. This is a game, and that is. It's very similar to Mortal Kombat, except with a story. Yeah, it has a story. Uh, you go from uh, left to right. You uh, game ending uh, uh, several bad people in one level, and then the game 
switches up for a little bit for, to something else and then and, and th that I think that's the best description of this game <laughs> yeah man that description was not very good for me you know what speaking of which maybe I should actually practice my what I'm going to say <laughs> anyways next game all right pro so time for the next game this is uh, this next game. Well, does it really need an introduction? Hmm, I don't know. Let's just say what it is. So, the next Techland game that no one knows about is Extermination 1999. Okay. Also, sorry about that little border up there. Uh, it's an enlisted commercial. Sorry about that, it just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, anyways, about the game. I think uh, those two words describe this game perfectly, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah. It's an RTS game, May re which was released in July 5th 1999 as you can see over here and of course it was made by Techland because they're today because they are today's topic of my video mm, there's not much I can say about this because I've never played it but I can tell you that People don't know about this game. Now, yes, it was released in other countries because there is it's there is an translation, there is an official English translation for the game. However, here's the trick: if you uh, go to YouTube and you search for this game in in its English name, you just can't find it. You will find uh, some uh, action movie instead somehow I don't know how that works and because no one made a, a video about this in English or in any other language well I consider this game that one Teclan game that no one knows about so, but if you type in uh, this name and you might add 1999 as well because there are actually multiple games that have that name so I would recommend also adding this uh, the year of the game you will find it and apparently from what I remember this was considered a good game However, I can't really elaborate on that. I don't have any gameplay footage because I don't own th I don't own the game, and I just can't. Uh, yeah, I just can't elaborate. There's not much I can say. It's an RTS game, strategy game, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's just it. Yeah, not much I can say here. Let's move on to the next game. All right, pro. So the next game I wanted to talk about uh, on this list is a racing game. If you're if you're a fan of my channel, that you know that uh, some sometimes I mention Techland, and you know you also know that Techland made a lot of these racing games back in the day, and I mean a lot of them, and. This game that I'm about to say talk about is another one of those racing games. So the next Techland game that no one know, no one knows about is Speedway 99. So if you don't know what Speedway is, it's basically this. Um, actually, you know what I can. Uh, I don't know how to explain to you. I'll probably explain it in a bad way, so I want to avoid that. I want to avoid bad explanation. But here we go, another game, Speedway 99. Um 
This is the game that no one knows about because I don't rem actually I don't know the reason why it's unknown but no one talks about it. No one remembers it. Just just no one knows what it is really. I mean I mean the people who played it know what it is but a lot a great majority of people don't know what it is but i can tell you this the but i can what i can tell you that it is a racing game in which you drive a motorcycle through mud you know those muddy rings I, why am i even trying to explain this let's just no, let's just talk about the most important thing about this game the most important things, sorry. Um, this game came out in June 18th, 1999. Um, and... I can't uh, toss say much about this game because I don't have any gameplay footage. I've never played the game, I don't own a copy. However, you can find one video on YouTube of someone actually playing this game. Just type in Speedway 99 and there's a there's a chance you will find a gameplay of this game. And that's pretty much all I can say about this game. Let's move on. All right, pros. So for this next see, for this next uh, entry on in this video, I've decided to mention a series of games. Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? All right. So the series uh, that uh, that the ah oh, Jesus that one Techland series that no one knows about or you've never heard of is FIM Speedway Grand Prix series uh, like I've said I know that I know I've said that uh, I can include the entire series series here let me just scroll a bit up to see that there it is an entire series and also this commercial will pop up sorry about it but there's one game in particular that I want to uh, talk about very quickly. Uh, well, I've already mentioned Speedway 99 and apparently it is a part of this series, but I don't really count that myself. It doesn't exactly have the FIM in the title. But there's one I want to talk about, but the one I want to talk about specifically is Speedway Championships. Uh, this pretty much uh, follows the same formula as the FIM Speedway Grand Prix games. So that's why I technically count it as an FIM Speedway Grand Prix game. It's basically... and uh, the, the premise uh, of the game is pretty much the same or similar to I mean oh actually no 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 let me rephrase that the gameplay in Speedway Championships is very similar to the the one in Speedway 99 however it has more of that FIM Speedway Grand Prix kind of feel so you're basically in this giant uh, muddy ring you you're on your motorcycle you pa you race against everyone else and that's pretty much it pretty much the same thing except slightly different it i mean it's except a different feel yeah so that's the series i wanted to talk about now let's move on all right pros and the next entry in this video is ironically another racing game not series just a game and this one is kind of funny in a way for me at least because the next game that the next 
Techland game you've never heard of is Pet Racer. Yes, Pet Racer. And yes, this was made by Techland. I know, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't believe it either. Anyways, the game came out uh, on December 20th or yeah, December 20th, 2001. And the way this you could game you could get this game was a little bit different compared to other Techland games. Uh, basically, the way you could buy this game is by buying cereal. Yeah, it's a cereal box game. You know, you know all those Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, all all of those. And this is why it's funny to me because it's a. It's just a. The cereal box game and as you all know kids love cereal and they also love games so they got a game for kids a game for kids as a bonus hooray so basically mm, this is your well actually it doesn't really stand out from all the other games Except for its art style and the fact you're driving uh, cars as an animal, like an elephant or a uh, can I can I say this? No, no, I can say this. Or a bug, basically. Oh. Um, and yes, this game even got a demo, as you can see. <laughs> Would you like to see my let's play of it? Uh, nah, there are plenty of videos on Pet Racer on YouTube, so you can go look for them yourself. Meanwhile, we're going to move on to the next game. All right, pros. Another entry in this video is another one of those funny games. Uh, I'm guessing if you know about this series, you already know what it's going to be. But just in case, I'm going to say it. Another Techland game you've never heard of is Pet Soccer. Yes, it's another it's another one of those games. Or should I say it's one of those games? Broken English, sorry. Anyway, this came out uh, later than Pet Racer because this came out on uh, June 18th, 2002. So, about one year after um, Pet Racer. This is basically FIFA for kids. That's the best way I can describe it. But you're probably wondering, But Patrick, isn't FIFA for kids anyway? Um, I guess so. Hmm. But, I don't know, maybe for the more mature kids? Nah, 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 what am I talking about? FIFA is for kids. But this one is the more kid-friendly version of FIFA, for me anyway. And that is... Oh, wait, yes. It also includes mm, characters from Pet Racer. So, you know what that means. At least it's tied to Pet Racer. Mm, so... That's cool, I guess. Alright, next one. Alright, another entry, and uh, this one is more bizarre rather than anything else. Because this Techland game you've never heard of is... Crazy Soccer Mundial. Yes, it's another one of those cereal box games. However, this also describes itself as a sequel of uh, pet soccer however I don't think this has anything to do with pet soccer at least when I did my research um, yeah 
This one came pretty late as you can see. It came out on June 16th, 2006. And if you know me, I know... I... Actually, no, I've never said that before. I'm going to say this in another video. So yeah, it's another one of those soccer games that uh, were a part of those cereal box games. And there's not much I can say. It's another FIFA for kids, except this one is even more kid friendly. You know what? Maybe next time I'll play. I will actually prepare a script <laughs> because this is just pathetic. Let's move on. All right, pros. Now we're uh, stepping out of those soccer games and. We're gonna talk about something that luckily this time I have... Well, with this game I have a bit more fi A bit more... Ah, oh, Jesus! Ah, oh, man. With this game... I have more things to say. So, another Techland game you've never heard of is... Nikita, the mystery of the hidden treasure. Yes, I know it doesn't say the English name in here, in any of this really. However, it 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 does uh, it actually does have uh, uh, the English translation. So that's why I've said Nikita, the mystery of the hidden treasure. This is sup apparently one of Techland's most hated games, despite the fact that no one knows about it. Uh, it was released on May 30th, 2008. And I've said that I have more things to say, right? So here we go. There's a little bit of story behind this game. Uh, do, you rem do you remember Captain Claw? That platformer game from the 90s? Apparently, Techland originally was supposed to make a sequel to Captain Claw. You know, simply titled Captain Claw 2. If you also click on the games from the series, uh, Captain Claw is listed in there. So, Nikita and Captain Claw are related canonically, according to the developers. Uh, but... Why didn't we get Captain Claw 2? Well, it turns out that Techland lost uh, the rights to Captain Claw literally one month before the release. And because of that, Techland had to hur hurry and make another game in a similar way. And because they have already made so much, they had to do something to make it different. And that's where Nikita comes in. I don't have any gameplay of this, unfortunately. Uh, I don't own a copy. Never found it uh, in any shop, surprisingly. Which is weird. But either way... This game was not received very well because the f besides the fact that no one knows about it and uh, well it's basically uh, it's basically a, it's basically a Captain Claw's spiritual successor at best. Let's move on. Now, this one, pros, this one will surprise you, because even though um, Nikita is hated, and also no one knows about Nikita, um, there was one more Nikita game. <laughs> yeah. A game that, uh, that got so much hate, and it got a sequel. Hmm. Anyways. The next Techland game you have never heard of is... Nikita Piratski Wyścig. 
Uh, this one doesn't have an English translation, so I'm saying this as Nikita Piratski Wyścig. This came out only a few months after uh, uh, the um, uh, Nikita The Mystery of the Hidden Treasure, because it, this came out in November 20th, 2008. And basically, it can be considered a spin off to Nikita, The Mystery of the Hidden Treasure, because it's basically a racing game. You know, another one of those racing games that Techland, is exper that Techland has experience with. But what's... F and when, I, when I talked about the hate on Nikita, The Mystery of the Hidden Treasure, d despite the fact that it, no one knows about it, uh, this one... Well, this... Well, how can I say this properly? No one, and I'm actually mean no one knows about Nikita Piratski Wyścig. No joke. I, have, I haven't found any gameplay on YouTube on, on, of this. I just didn't find anything. I don't have the copy, obviously, so I can't make my own gameplay. So, yeah. Is this game ever gonna be found? I have no idea. And this one, I actually didn't have to talk a lot about this one because this is actually forgotten. No one knows, no one knows the gameplay. No one knows anything about it. There's nothing to say about this game. So all I can do is to move on. All right, pros, now we have reached the final game in this video. And this, and for this one we're moving out of those obscure uh, games that are, you know, um, the, uh, Pet Racer, Pet Soccer, Crazy Soccer Mondial and Nikita. No, we're moving out of this. This is what I consider, uh, you know, the... Uh, another one of those games that no one knows about. So, the last Techland game no you have never heard of is... Speedway Liga. Oh yes, this is... This is interesting, pros. Why is it interesting? Because mm, you've never heard of it. I... Okay, actually I will explain it later. Let's get to the details. This game was released in May 15th, 2009. So it's basically the most recent out of all of them that I've mentioned in this video. And what can I say about this is that this is actually considered by Techland a spin-off to FIM Speedway Grand Prix. Which I never understood why. Why is this a spin-off? Why is this not a part of the FIM series? It pretty much behaves like the other FIM Speedway Grand Prix games. I don't know, this is a mystery that I will never understand. Uh, there is one thing that stands out in this game and, and that thing is that this is actually a team-based game. You need your team to win in this game. How do I know this? Because out of all of these games, I actually own that one! Hooray! Am I going to make a let's play out of it? Well, m one video, yes, but a full let's play? Hmm, I don't know. I have no idea at this moment. But I can, c in fact, confirm that... Um, I have this game and I've played it before and it's a shame that no one knows about it because it's actually really really fun it, it's fun that, that's all I can say the, especially when you fail oh my god those ragdolls and when you win you always feel satisfied just like in your usual Techland racing game and um, and now that I've mentioned that this is your typical uh, Techland racing game, it has pretty much most thing that you would expect. You know, you have uh, the shop, 
you have arcade and simulation modes this time you have actually you have uh, multiple difficulty settings you have team based gameplay you have racing you have mod you have all those you have basically all the things that may that may that made expand really so great well maybe they are missing a few maybe they are missing maybe this game misses a few things but other than that this is a game that i actually can confidently say that i recommend no really go play it all right why why are not, why are you not listening to me go play it well this is the end of this episode of let's talk about that hope you enjoyed it this took me a lot longer than I expected. Now I'm gonna have even spend spend even more time trying to edit this thing. But uh, there were actually few games that I was considering to put in this video. But truth is, those games that I was going to mention are not uh, the games no one has uh, never heard of. They are basically the forgotten games. And the ones I, were g I was considering on putting on this list, in this video, were Nailed. I've made a let's play of that, by the way. Please watch it. And Mad Riders. Mm. And all I can say about them is that they're, they're not those kind of games that no one has heard of. They're just forgotten. They used to be popular one day, but they just were forgotten. And that's all I'm, uh, all I can say about them, because they're just forgotten. They don't qualify for this video. Also, where is Quake Four coming? I have no idea. Uh, I'm trying to fix things, and then I'll make Quake Four. Also, it's been a long time since I haven't made since I've made those. Um, let's talk about that video. So, uh, I also have plan of making one more video like this. So, if you like that one, maybe you will like the next one as well. All right, enough talking. I have to edit the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and well, I'll see you next time, pros. Goodbye.